Hello internet world and welcome to a new video on the Geek Noise channel. In today's video, I want to give you my review of the Synology DS or Disk Station 1621 Plus. This is a very powerful yet compact six bay network attached storage device. It comes as a, just an enclosure, so no hard drives included, but you can install up to six three and a half inch or two and a half inch solid state drives into this unit and give you a central file storage location plus the ability to install applications onto this to really extend the use case scenarios. And I've been using this over the past month and it has been a rock solid performer. So as you can see, this is a very compact desktop form factor. Uh, it's 174% faster on 4K random read speeds compared to its previous model. It's also designed to be scalable. Uh, so you can actually uh, start small with just the six bays and then you can expand this at a later date. Now inside here you've also got an AMD Ryzen quad core 2.2 gigahertz processor and what that means is when you're moving files around or processing files uh, or doing some sort of file manipulation, maybe even streaming files, uh, that processor enables this to actually take some of the workload off of your computer CPU and also allows this to work at a really nice fast speed. Now on the underside there is uh, space for two uh, M.2 2280 NVMe SSDs. Uh, they can be used for caching files. Again, that speeds up the access to the files you've got stored on here. Uh, and also I mentioned expansion uh, later later date. You can expand this from the six drives up to 16 drives with two DX517 expansion units. On the front here, we've got the sort of main power button. We've also got some LED lights. We've got the individual bays for the hard drives. Uh, so this is gonna allow you to install your uh, three and a half inch or two and a half inch drives. Uh, very, very easy to take them out and put them back in. And the, of course, the pins with the connectors on the back of the drives uh, locate very, very nicely in the back of the unit. We've also got little uh, sort of keyholes, you can lock these to secure the hard drives inside. If we take a look on the back of the unit, we have got two quite large fans. Uh, these are nice quiet fans though, so they're not too obtrusive. What I would say, and I get asked this question a lot about uh, NAS drives, is would you have this in a room where you were working? Uh, certainly, if I was working just on regular sort of office work, I would certainly have this in the same room. If I was recording videos with my sort of uh, microphone equipment and I need to get nice clean quality audio, probably not. I'd probably have this in a, another room like a server room, but they're certainly not loud. We've also got two USB 3 ports here. We've got four Ethernet ports across the bottom here. Uh, we've also got on here, we've got eSATA, so we can uh, have sort of further expandability here. Uh, we've also got an expansion slot in the side here. Kensington lock should you wish to tether this down to a desk, little tiny reset switch should you ever need to reset the system. So before I move on to talking about my own personal use case scenario for this device, let's talk about the build quality very quickly. It's uh, got a nice metal enclosure around the outside, so that's really good quality. And the front panel is obviously plastic, but I must emphasize it's very high quality plastic everything is very, very robust. You've also got status lights on the front. Uh, we've got an alert light, a status light here, uh, various LAN lights here. We've also got uh, LED lights for the individual drives. So plenty of feedback as to the status of the unit. Now, how have I been using it? And don't forget, your use case scenario might be different to mine, but as a video producer, somebody who produces a lot of content, for me, archiving my footage and also having multiple versions of various things is very, very important indeed. Now, I've been using Synology Drive uh, for backing up my files. It allows me to sync my files on demand, so it's got some great features built into it. I can also go back in time to an earlier version of a file, which is extremely important. Uh, that might be important to you, even if you're not a video editor, if you edit photos, for example, or if you work on regular sort of office type documents, being able to back up and then go back to earlier versions if you need to 
is very, very important indeed. And uh, Synology Drive allows you to do that. You can also schedule uh, backups as well. And that's been a feature I've been using a lot lately because if you're busy, sometimes you can forget to do particular tasks. So being able to actually schedule backups, which I've set up sort of some important folders I need backed up every day, being able to do that, then I know that my files are gonna be automatically backed up and always safe. And then don't forget, as well as those sort of uh, software-based features, the fact that this is a hardware NAS with a hardware RAID means you've got some data redundancy as well. Now, depending upon how you set this up during the setup process, you've got data redundancy across various drives. So if one drive fails, and hard drives, believe it or not, and solid state drives, uh, they do fail from time to time. Uh, they've got like a particular lifespan. Some exceed that lifespan. Uh, some have a shorter lifespan for some reason. Uh, but if that does happen and one of your drive fails, then you've got that data on the other drive. So you're not gonna lose your data necessarily. So I love using a NAS for archiving my footage and also having those multiple versions and also the automatic scheduled backups as well. That way you don't have to remember to do it yourself. You set it up once and then just check it every now and again to check that it's still working fine and that the backups are still there. There's a really nice dashboard to this, uh, Synology Disk Station Manager, the front end that you set this all up through is absolutely superb. Can I recommend this particular NAS? Absolutely. It's got a nice fast processor, the fact it's got six bays, the fact it's expandable, and it comes from a brand that I absolutely trust all add up to a really compelling package. This is the Synology Disk Station DS1621 Plus, and I highly recommend it. That's my review. If you want to pick up one of these for yourself, then please do check out the links down in the video description. There's also a link down there to the Synology website because apart from this particular model, they've got a whole range of different models that suit different use case scenarios and different budgets as well. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in another video very, very soon.